I think that's what affects your skin the most. I need to do this video quick because my battery's about to die. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mara, if you do not know me already. Today, I'm going to be talking about my skincare routine. A little bit of background with my skin. I guess you could say I have combination skin. I did deal with some acne for the past year, year and a half or so. So I'm gonna insert some pictures right here to show you what that looked like on my forehead and just my temple areas. I also had bangs at the time. So that could also have been why my acne was bad just from the oils from my hair getting onto my skin. I actually didn't have a skincare routine at all. I barely ever washed my face because prior to having bangs, I never really had to wash my face, but I really was just being lazy. Now I finally have a routine down that I can rely on and honestly say that it's helped my skin so much. I haven't had any crazy blackhead experiences since I've started this skincare routine. My skin obviously isn't perfect. Most of my skincare happens at nighttime right as I'm going to bed and I try to make this a bedtime ritual because I think that's what affects your skin the most is how you treat it when you're um, asleep for eight to ten hours or whatever, how, six, to, six to eight hours. <laughs> so the first thing I do is put my hair up in a bun. Now, it's called a cleansing balm, and this is by Fountain of Truth. I really love this. I've been using this for about two or three months, I would say. I think I just picked it up and was like, let's just try this out. I basically just take a little bit of this onto my fingers and rub that into my face gently. And what it does is it takes off all of my makeup and it's kind of like an oil consistency and I really like it because it just feels very gentle and there is a bit of a fragrance but it's definitely not so much that I can tell. You know when you put on a drugstore face products and there's like a scent, typically it's like really strong. Well, you can just smell the alcohol in that. Well with this it feels very easy on the skin and natural although I don't know that for sure. <laughs> And if I have lipstick on still, I'll just kind of wipe my lipstick off with it, my eyebrow pencil. Just get everything, rub it in. And I kind of want it to just soak into my skin because it just feels really nice and like moisturizing. So typically I'll just brush my teeth while I do that. Okay. I am basically going to let this water run so it's pretty warm. You're taking your makeup off and really just when you're cleansing your face, using something soft in the skin because a lot of the times I think we revert back to wanting to like scrub things off of our face or like be really rough with our face just to make sure it's extra clean. One of the keys for me and for my skin is to just treat it really gently. Instead of a washcloth that has the fibers that are rough against your skin, I use a muslin cloth. I got these off of Amazon. <laughs> I have toothpaste on my chin. Sorry guys. These are muslin cloths. They're very kind of just like a handkerchief. You soak that in warm water. Lightly and gently rub that cleanser off my face and it's taking all my makeup off. So as you can see here, I have some scarring from previous just like acne breakouts and stuff um, along here. Um, where else can you see them? Just on my cheeks. I really like this stuff, Fountain of Truth. I'll be sure to link down below all of the products that I use in this video so that you guys can get an idea of where I got everything from, how much I paid and all that stuff. So once I finish that, the instruction says to pat dry, but I actually don't do that. I go on to my next step. I take a cotton, what is this called? cotton round, cotton ball, I, I don't know, cotton pad, cotton pad, that's what it is. Take one of those, the Glossier Solution Exfoliating Skin Protector. Skin Perfector. <laughs> I feel like it acts sort of like a toner and I never used one before. Actually, I think if I did use one before, it was in high school and I didn't know how to use it because I didn't moisturize afterwards. I'm just going to not really rub, but like pat firmly on my skin and you see that it takes out the rest of that makeup. And that's how I know that my skin is like squeaky clean. You just want to be gentle with your skin. Now, 
I went to a facial lady about, I want to say a year ago or maybe in the beginning of 2019. And she really taught me a lot about just my skin and why it acts the way that it does, why I was getting so many blackheads and she got rid of them by um, extracting them. But I also got some products from her that really helped me out, which I will mention in this video. Now this kind of gives a little like stinging sensation, which just tells me that it's working. I mean, so yeah, that's what I use. And what I like about this is that it's very sanitary, this, this little pump thing to get the product onto the cotton pad. At this point, I will take this. This is my moisturizer. This is what I use every night and every morning. It's called the Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm. My sister was the one who actually recommended this to me. I used it once and was like, oh my gosh, this is so good. Well, it's just like a larger version, but it has a little like picture of a seal on top. I just like, I'm trying to figure out how to focus this thing. It's really hard, guys. <laughs> I've tried the Aqua Bomb by Belief before and I just find that the product runs out quicker. And for those of you who might be wondering, I do wear eyelash extensions. So I need to be extra careful when it comes to applying face products and sleeping in general. So I'll just rub this in. I love just the way it feels. It's very nice and light on the skin. And it's just really reliable. Really easy. Smells nice. So that's basically it for my nighttime routine. Sometimes what I'll do is take this Mario Badescu glycolic eye cream. I got this from Ulta. And if I just want like a little bit extra moisture in the cheek or the eye area, I'll just add this on. I'm really trying guys. <laughs> and what it does is it just gives me that extra bit of moisture under my eyes. And I know like moisture is really good for the eye area. It keeps it looking young and lively and I think moisture in general and like on all of your skin is good. I don't know very much. I'm not an expert at this so I just feel very hydrated and moisturized. The most important part is making sure you get your makeup off at the end of the night. If I do feel absolutely just like lazy and do not want to wash my face at the very least I will use these simple cleansing wipes that I get from Target and I think they're also again just gentle on the skin and I'm sure you've seen these before but yeah, they just work. <laughs> In the mornings when I wake up, I will basically use the Glimed, Glimed Plus Master Aesthetics Elite Vitamin C Cleanser that I got from my facial lady and I really love it. Basically rub it into my face dry, rinse it off with some lukewarm water. Use lukewarm or cold water to wash your cleanser off. And then if I'm feeling fancy, I will use my Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil, which this stuff is so good. I don't know what's in it and why, but I've tried other Marula oils before and this stuff is so good. It's just kind of expensive. That's why I only have this small little thing. It just gives my face that extra glow um, under my makeup. I will, of course, use my Belief Moisturizer on top of all of that and then my makeup. forgot to mention, sometimes, I don't do this every single day. This is the Glen Mid Plus Glimid. Glymed, Glymed Plus, Age Management Skin Care System Derma Pigment Skin Brightener. So basically she was telling me that I have the type of skin because I'm like ethnic or something that um, my skin tends to like get brown spots when I have like acne scars. Acne scars show up really dark on my skin, like as you can see right here. And so she says that this is going to help prevent that from happening. One thing I completely forgot to mention while I was filming this video was my sunscreen. So I think sunscreen is so important to wear every single day, whether it's sunny or whether it's cloudy. Typically, I will use the IT Cosmetics CC Cream, and that actually has SPF in it already. I will link down below the sunscreen that I do use if I don't wear makeup that day. It's a tinted sunscreen, so it's really nice. I also got that from my facial lady. But yeah, that's my skincare routine and I'm really happy about it. I'm not a huge skin person, so once I have something down, it's really um, exciting. I wanna take care of my skin. I think that's part of being an adult. It's just like taking really good care of your skin and eating the right foods and all of that. So I'm about to go to sleep and hopefully you guys learned something new or enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Okay, bye guys.